I'm going to talk about a film which has already received rave reviews. Uh, Mangrove, it's called. It tells the true story of a group of activists. This is in the 1970s. They made history by exposing racial hatred within the Metropolitan Police. Yeah, actor Sean Parks, who stars in the film, is going to be telling us more about it in just a moment. First, let's take a look. And let's go to the man himself, Sean Parks, joins us now. Sean, very good to see you. Very good to see you morning. too. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. And Sean, congratulations. Well done on your performances, Frank Critchlow. Uh, who was he? What's the story? Well, you know, essentially, um, it's uh, The Mangrove's about a West Indian restaurant called The Mangrove uh, that was run by a man called Frank Critchlow, who essentially all he wanted to do was run a West Indian restaurant and cook West Indian food for his community, you know? But as a result of those police raids that happened from about 1968 to 1970, over and over and over again, a kind of a, a relentless assault, um, he was left with no other option, really, uh, in terms of standing up for himself to uh, form an alliance, if you like, with this black activist group called the Black Panthers and go on a peaceful protest against the police. Well, unfortunately, as a result of that, that protest, um, they were arrested wrongfully for a fray and inciting a riot against the police and later brought to trial. To which end, well, uh, I mean, I, I won't spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it, but, uh, you know, essentially it's about the community who come together, a black community who come together to stand up and be heard in the face of in, injustice and discrimination. Yeah, but, but Sean, I can tell, you know, you're really into this and you're, you're talking effusively about it. Obviously, you feel, again, without giving the, 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 the plot too much away, that you feel this is a story that, that has to be told, uh, one that has to be watched. Let me ask you, is it a hard watch? I think it is a hard watch, you know, because the thing about this story, and I believe all of, all of Small Axe, is that it's a very true story obviously, it really happened, told very honestly. And I think what will happen is, is the audience will be able to sit back objectively uh, and make up their own mind about what was going on back then, you know? But it's the truth. And uh, I think that should be welcomed. Yeah, you say, Sean, you know, an important story to be told, a difficult story to be told. How much pressure did you feel to get Frank Critchlow's story and his character right, because there wasn't much... You couldn't study him much, could you? He's no longer alive. No. No, there was no real time. Sometimes you have, like, two, three, four, five, six months. Um, you know, this was a matter of weeks that, that we all had, you know, maybe three to four weeks uh, to get an accent, um, to study who he was, to study what happened at the time. Um, I kind of knew the story, but uh, in terms of doing research, there's not really much about him. Um, online, so you kind of had to have to approximate, you know, you have to uh, put the idea of abuse, uh, anger, pain, fear, um, injustice into a mm. bit of a melting pot, you know, learn an accent. Yeah, and, so, um, so the accent, is it from Trinidad? He was from Trinidad, is that right? Yeah. So how, how difficult yes. was that for you? How did you, how did you master that? Well, I had a friend of mine, Makemba, and we did some very uh, intense work over a few weeks where uh, I sat down with the scripts with him and we went over essentially every line and, and the psychology of Trinidad compared to the psychology of, of other uh, places in the West Indies, you know? So um, it, it was an intense time, but, um, but that's the kind of challenge I like, so... But uh, intense as well, know. because you're saying you're portraying um, racism in, those, in the mm. 70s and 80s. Uh, mm. within the, the Metropolitan Police Force. That was what they were, were going to court about. Um, what about the language involved then? And is that being used in the film? And how uncomfortable or comfortable were you all with doing that? Um, well, the, the thing about acting is, is that you're telling stories, you know? And um, it's good to be objective as an actor um, when you come to a story and not judge what's happening, uh, to, 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 to play the truth as much as you can. You know, that's what I loved about working on this set was we were encouraged to just be truthful. Mm. We were encouraged to, to be real, as it were, and tell these people's stories honestly. Um, so when it came to all of those scenes, 
uh, they were very difficult. They were very hard, you know, and, and there were times where you go home and you kind of feel battered and bruised by, by the experience of that day because it was so real. But, you know, also you kind of love that. That's, that's, that's the whole point of being an actor is to tell yeah. real stories, you know, and, and hopefully have an audience sit at home objectively mm -hmm and work out what was going on back then. Uh, well, Mangrove, BBC One on Sunday and BBC iPlayer um, as well, you can see that. You see, you say there, that's the point of drama, real stories. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, my friend, because when I was a child, my favourite programme was Lost in Space. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so now, 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 now well, I'm just taking, tell me that was real, but anyway, um, warning, warning, Will Robinson. Um, I loved it, I loved it. What was it like? I mean, I don't know if you remember Lost in Space. The reason I'm talking about this is that Sean is in the Netflix remake of uh, this, this series, Lost in Space. And uh, what's it like to be part of something like that? Oh, it's massive. Uh, when you go on those sets, you know, it's like they've spent so much money on it. And to be part of such a famous show, you know, with, with so many famous characters and famous stories and, and to be in space, you know, it's fantastic for an actor. It's a bit of a fantasy, really. Yeah. To be able to kind of, you know, run around pretending you're in space and, and, and uh, speak to some fantastic actors. So it's been great. To well, be honest with you. it's a good range you've got, mate. Long mate, continue. Uh, lovely Bless talking you. to you and uh, continued success. Thank you, Sean Parks. Thank you, Sean. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Dean.